don't try my patience. I'ma pull out one for the set, boy, till there's nothing left. On a run to the bed until we all got them baguettes. Hear them footsteps coming, cause we coming for the check. We ain't gon' run, no, we don't hide. I can never switch, not a day in my life. Lost my dogs, they by my side. Yeah, we gon' ride till we die, die, die. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros. euros. Left pocket got pow, pow. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Okay, Coach. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're ready to go. And it should be a good one as those New York Jets get set to face off with that other team here in the metropolitan area, the New York Giants. This one taken from the seven. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven to Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. The lady. The first down throw, Darnold. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Switch, switch, switch. The red 80. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. They'll buy some time right. It's caught by Quincy Anunwa. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. On first down, Darnold. A screen to Bell. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. They'll run it with Bell. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. No, no, no. Darnold will throw it on third and one. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Alec Ogletree. And the return this time will go out to the 
42-yard line. Really nice pick there for the reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And a good story on that. He said he didn't even know he won the award. His buddy had to call him. He saw it on television and said, hey, congratulations. How about that? And I'll bet you his buddy said, well, since you didn't know, I'll just go ahead and claim the award, right? And everything that goes along with it. But the reason he won the award the previous week and what we just saw there, instincts. Understanding where the play is going and being able to make a play on the football. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now Jones. I was going to let this go for the end zone. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. And they're popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. He's had his interception woes early in his rookie season, but sometimes that happens. There are great examples of guys in the past that have had those same struggles early. You are so correct in what the team and organization is hoping. We're going to see these woes now, but later when we're helping him with his Hall of Fame speech, we'll remember his rookie year and how things began. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now this throw caught left side. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. First down. Darnold on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Throwing Jones. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off by Jamal Adams. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone plunk it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's second and eight. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And able to...
to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Ready. On first down, Scott. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From just shy of midfield, Jones. And he will find Scott on the right side complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. They're up against a third and two to start things out. From the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on the punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Jets offense ready to go in this battle in New York. And they've got themselves a 7-0 lead here, but that, you recall, was a defensive touchdown, so still nothing as of yet for this offense. Well, they're happy to have the lead. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Jamison Crowder. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Jets get the quick strike touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three. Three points get that zero off the board. Now well, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Back to throw. Jones, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. They'll run on first down. It's Scott. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. 
The last run got six. Now second and four. Let's go, defense. Here's Scott. The 20. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. That one good for 33 and a first. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Forced out to his left. That is caught inside the five. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Jets offense ready to go in this battle in New York. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. To throw again on second down. Darnold. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Darnold now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Again, Darnold. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. On second down, it's Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they'll start out with great field position. At the 47 yard line in enemy territory. before getting this inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. We got this. 
Set, ready? 60 Pittsburgh. They run the counter. It's Scott. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Go, go. Looking to throw. Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route, He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Remember with Rosas, there was some speculation last year in the preseason that he might not hold on to his job with the Giants. But he certainly answered the challenge, didn't he? 32 of 33 during the regular season. 97% that is. And was named to the NFC Pro Bowl team. And by the way, at 6'3", 234, he can bench press your kicker. The Jets offense ready to go in this battle of New York. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. He finds his target, it's Crowder. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The shotgun snap for Donald. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. Throwing again on second and 10. Darnold hauled in by Anderson, left side. Darnold now 9 of 15 throwing the ball, 60%, and it's first and 10. Darnold now to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. To throw is Darnold. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get. There. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop them with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. From the 50, it's Darnold. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Oh, Shane Jimenez in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Darnold and the Jets come up third and long following the sack. Here we go. 47 to the lady. Check, check, 47. A final shot before the break. Darnold. And he's going to go down. 
Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. On second and nine, Jones throw left side, complete to Ingram. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A healthy Evan Ingram, that could be a great elixir for New York this year. The season ago, he only played in 11 games because of the injuries, 35 catches, which was a dip down from two seasons ago when Ingram caught 64 passes. Jones on third down, and Ingram hauls it in. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now Jones operating from the gun. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Tate. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Come on, set. AQ game. Bravo. Watch QB drop. Go. QB drop. Right there. 54. Right there. Go. Jones now on first down. This one to Slayton over the middle. A gain of six there on first. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down. Jones, and they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 12 yards there and a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Call it a loss of six on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Here we go on second and 12. Being chased out left. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Oh, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Back to throw. Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The safety, Jamal Adams, able to break that one up. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. 
And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Jets' offense ready to go in this Battle of New York. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed it. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 45. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. A little jet sweep to start the drive, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. That's complete to Goldman. Five yards on the pickup, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And it's a fumble. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Here we go, here we go. On second and 11 now, Darnold. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him. Uh, find him. Find him. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 23. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Now the second down throw on target. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Jordan Jenkins in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Here's Britton Colquitt now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. 
That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Jets offense ready to go in this battle of New York. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Darnold from the gun. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Donald. Is gonna be a safety and you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years he has a theory these plays these safeties are so rare maybe they should be worth more than two maybe four points i think he's got a great point i really do brandon but i would go ahead and up it to six i'm a former defender oh. to me that's like scoring a touchdown easy now i'll go four i don't know about six come on come on come up to six <laughs> a lot of points and oh he coughed it up and it's scooped up by the jets Takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Just like that. Lady. Out of the shotgun, here's Donald. That's caught. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now Jones, a big spot for the rookie from Duke. And he comes back with one complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Jones on third and two. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He can't hit me. He's not going to get me. 36, 36. Five, five. Hustle, hustle, five. Now Jones operating from the gun. That's complete to Slayton. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Operating from the gun. Jones is going to have the hook up to Scott. 20! And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. 
We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Throwing on second and eight, Jones, and it's caught, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Sterling Shepard, his third touchdown now on the year, as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Rosas now to add the PAT. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Jets offense ready to go in this battle in New York. And last time they surrendered to safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw, Darnold. He's got a rifle on deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there and he puts one out there for a big time completion so the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10 here's bell a short gain here maybe a yard to the 29 he continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can at the giants 29 yard line they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll go again with Bell. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. He couldn't hook up with a Anunwa that time. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back. To and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Leonard Williams, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Now Jones. That's complete left side to Shepard. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 27 yards there, a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. 
On first down, Scott. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because <laughs> they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Scott. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. On the ready. Jones now on first and ten, letting one go deep for the end zone. Evan Ingram was the intended target. And right now it all rests on the right foot of Aldrich Rosas. Two for two on the afternoon and a third would win it. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Time rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback.
The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. They're set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least. And he is in for the score! And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for when they need. They move to four and six, and they'll be able to enjoy this one.